Wait um Divide five I'm talking about me. Yeah, Rosa. Like you're a big guy. Move people. Move people. You wanna fight? Have a fight. So we run. So we. We gonna go on more. But yeah, what do you mean? What do you mean that? Okay, enough running, go the way. Enough running, go the way. No. And there. And there, the way guy. This is it, isn't it? The alarm. Hey, are you supposed to be here? You got any idea what happened to the office that used to be here? <laughs> office? This used to be, you know, a girl's bar. What about before that? There was an office here. No, before the bar it was a computer store. Before that it was a maid cafe, and before that, a Filipino bar, I think. But 18 years ago, a family way? had their office here. The Arakawa family? Don't you know what I'm talking about? A uh, family? Not a family, family, I... A Yakuza office, okay? Anyway, I know it was here. Uh, that's too far back even for my old bones. <laughs> but I'll be honest with you, I don't see how the Arakawa family could have been holed up in a dinky office like this. Oh, so you do know them? I don't think there's a soul on this side of town who does it. They're a huge, famous family. Really? Finally, some good news. So where are they? I'm looking for them. They are uh, dead. Not sure. In this day and age, Yakuza can't exactly be loud and proud, you know. Especially not hot shots like the Arakawa boys. I get it. Okay, thanks. Think you'll find them? Yeah. Well, I'll just ask the old woman at the SIG stand where they're headquartered. She always knows what's going on. Okay, good luck. Good luck. Can you move, please? Why are you running? Why are you running? Where's the old woman? Oh, you mean the previous owner? <laughs> she moved back to the countryside a long time ago. Probably taking it easy in an old folks home by now. Oh, I see. Uh, hey, hey do boy. you know where the Arakawa family office is? If you're not making a purchase, I should help the customer behind you. I just want to know where the Arakawa office is. Hey, some of us got places to be. In the usual. Yes, here you are. 500 yen, please. Just put it on my tab. 
Wow. People sure have gotten rude since I was gone. How pathetic. You say something? Where'd you learn your manners, huh? Mom raised you in a barn? Jeez. Oh, and you're walking around town wearing a Tojo badge? Oh, wait. It's Omi Alliance. So, you're in the know. What family are you from? Me? I'm Arakawa. Oh, uh, nice to meet you, brother. Sorry I didn't know you. I'm new. Like hell you are! You're lying, out here with the Omi symbols, faking like you're Arakawa! Wait, were you and that crew that visited the old chairman's grave today? Hmm? Oh, yeah, there was a big ceremony scheduled. But only the Patriarch and his officers go to stuff like that. Maybe some of their assistants, too, but that's it. Damn, you must be newer than me. Tell me one thing. Who's our Patriarch right now? Dude, you living under a rock? Just tell me who it is. It's acting captain of the Omi Alliance, Masumi Arakawa, obviously. Man, you forgot the name of your Patriarch? Get your shit together. Hey, you don't order me to do anything. I'm not Omi. Oh, but you just said you were in the Arakawa family. Damn right. And that family is part of the Tojo clan. Tojo clan? You sleep talking, dude? I'm part do of I look fairy fucking asleep? Baby. No, you don't. You must be one of those Tojo pests still crawling around. We've got permission from HQ to exterminate them on sight. You Omi are the ones who invaded. This city is Tojo turf. Not anymore. I do Tojo roaches need to die already. So no. the battle is on. Yeah. Check this out. Betray the Tojo clan and run to the Yomi? Answer me! Yes! Yeah. Haniki! That guy's a Tojo loyalist! Get him! What? Get back here! Over here. You be going. Excuse me.
Thanks. Hmm. <sighs> See ya. Bye bye. Matte. Bye bye. He took a game. Go ahead and die.
I can tell you love your job, but you ought to love being alive more. Else who's gonna take care of that precious camera? A real fist fight between the Omi Alliance and a Tojo clan loyalist! Aw, oh, yeah! These picks will go for a fortune! Thanks, Ichiban! Hey, hold up! It was your fault anyway. Mod, get out of here. If I see you again, I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. Tough words for a guy who just took off screaming. Yeah, you better run, Kamulop. Kamulop? It's a local mascot they made to improve Kamurocho's image. What the hell is a local mascot? Uh, we're gonna be here all day. Remember the internet? It's big now. Use it. Fine. <laughs> Just tell me what happened to the Arakawa family. And Arakawa-san. You were in that family once upon a time, right? Stop! You gotta know what happened, being a local reporter. I don't believe that Arakawa-san was a traitor. That wasn't who he was! You really want to know why Arakawa did what he did? Because I do have the scoop. Not a journalist for nothing. So tell me, when did you get locked up again? 18 years ago. And Arakawa had a son, right? Yeah, the young master. It used to be my job to escort him. I don't know the details, but he was kind of sickly, right? Very well. uh -huh. uh, what do you mean, was? Very Is he better now? He's dead. What? Wait, how? Huh. Would have been about three years after you went into the slammer. As I recall, his condition got worse. There was nothing they could do. Arakawa was pretty fond of him, or so I assume. It was more than being fond of him. Arakawa-san would have died for his son. Maybe the loss changed his perspective on things. Nothing worse than burying your own kid. Yeah. I can't imagine how that must have felt, but... I still don't see how that would make him betray the Tojo clan. You don't. Maybe you can't understand, but once you have a child, the rest of your life is over. The kid becomes your life's purpose, you know? So imagine the grief you'd feel if the kid dies. You just keep existing with your life's purpose pulled out from under you. The parents gotta find another reason, any other reason, to keep living. Couple that with the fact that Arakawa is a Yakuza. I think maybe his new reason to live became watching the world burn. He wouldn't. Hey, why don't you give me some info now? You really in trouble with the Omi like those thugs said? Yeah. Then you shouldn't just be strolling around Kamurocho. You still got business here? If not, I'd get out of town. Huh? I promise, Kasuga! There's nothing left for you in Kamrocho! But... Then where would I go? I mean... I don't know, dude. I'm just saying the Omi are looking for you. So I'd get out of town if I were you. Don't go home. Home? Yeah. The soap land you were born in? That'd be your home, right? Shangri-La. Hey! You're not going there now, are you? Don't do it! 
I'm telling you, they'll kill you. Kill me? <laughs> Let him try. Where was I going now? Is this the last stop on your tour of Kamarocho? <sighs> well, I knew you'd end up here eventually. You again? For real? Uh, unbelievable, isn't it? A neon bright paradise like Kamarocho is this dark, rotting husk. No, what I happened don't. here? Do you know? There was a Tojo clan civil war. Some moron drove a dump truck through the place. Oh, no one's come near it ever since. And now, it's a den for lowlifes and thugs. Some real messed up dudes living there now. I see. I guess I never realized just how long 18 years really is. It's not the Kamurocho you remember. I know that must be shitty. Did you see what they built on Nakamichi Street? What? The new Kamuro police station. Just one more set of prying eyes watching everything in this town. That's because of the 3K plan. Without the Tojo clan throwing their bribes and threats around, the station finally got built. That's why everybody loves our go-getter of a governor. The Kamuro police station is just one of his legacies. <laughs> well, that shit doesn't matter to me anymore. Kasuga. I've been nothing but honest with you. I tried to tell you before. The Tojo clan you know is gone. The Omi alliance from Kansai invaded and won. They rule this city now. So, do you believe me now? Yes. No. Then <laughs> we're making good time. Well, you came around faster than I thought. Huh? I knew you were the kind of guy who has to see shit for himself. 
and everyone else be damned. So, I had to let you walk around Kamurocho until it all clicked for you. <laughs> and you got there quick. What are you doing? Trying to guess everything I do? Making fun of me along the way? Well, I didn't guess everything. I just knew you'd come here. <sighs> Look, man, once and for all, what the hell do you really want? I want you to help me with my investigation. Huh? Arakawa, your former boss, used the police to crush the Tojo clan. Then he gave Kamurocho to the Omi Alliance on a silver platter. You and I both know you can't buy out the police with just Yakuza pocket change. So my theory is some of that money went directly to Juro Horonouchi, the police commissioner. The police commissioner? Yeah. Then I got a bone to pick with that guy. I'd love to see the son of a bitch fired. Of course, I'm just a driver's ed teacher now, so I don't have a lot of chances to get at him. But one chance I do have is if I go through Masumi Arakawa. And you figure I can help you get to Arakawa-san, is that it? Congrats, you solved the puzzle. I thought you'd be game because, come on, aren't you dying to know why he turned traitor? If you don't agree, why don't you tell me? What are you gonna do now, hmm? I want to see Arakawa-san. It's all I thought about in prison. I just want to see him, talk to him. Well, your information. Tonight, Arakawa is bringing some Omi officers to a big meeting of local patriarchs. Really? Not true? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And we're not talking about a sweet little tea party. No, it's gonna be a show of arms. But Arakawa, it's a critical moment. He needs to show his dominance. How do you know all this? I still have my connections from when I was a detective. Had to grease some hands, of course. Go figure. Well, where's this meeting gonna be? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. I'm glad you asked. Check out that restaurant over there. Heian Tower. Oh, that's... Um, oh, have you been there? It's a pretty classy joint. Expensive as hell, though. No, I haven't gone. It's just... Arakawa-san once promised to take me there. To eat Peking duck. Wait, I get it! This is Arakawa-san trying to contact me! Huh? Wait, what are you saying? It can't be a coincidence that the meeting is going down there! At a place that meant something to me and him! Of course it could be a coincidence. Come back down to Earth, kid. There aren't many classy restaurants around here. Period. Stands the reason he picked one of the only ones. Hmm? Screw you! It doesn't even matter. What's important is, I can finally talk to him! Okay, first of all, the meeting isn't until tonight. And on top of that, the Omi know you're a Tojo loyalist. If they catch you, then you'll have zero chance of talking to Arakawa. Now luckily, I have a plan for sneaking in. Unless you wanted to bust through the front door like an idiot. Okay, what kind of plan? That's a surprise I'll save for later. Later? What, we're just gonna wait here till they show up? No, I'm sure you have shit to do, just like me. Let's split up and meet back here tonight. Here. Okay. Take this with you. What is this? A smartphone. I assume you've seen one before? Nah. How do you use oh. it? Why wow. do they make phones wow, so really? damn complicated? Oh, really? You'll figure it out. Just make sure to pick up when I call you. Whatever. Okay, so remember, we're meeting in this part of Theater Square tonight. Till then, keep a low profile, will you?
Okay, I will see you guys on the next part for the week.